Hey, Dave. Hey, come on, sit down, don't worry. Thanks. I'm just laying, I'm just, uh, laying out all my books across my stove because I don't use it for anything else. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure nothing will happen. I've never seen you do that before, but okay. Uh, I've only burned a few notes. Oh, yes. Um, hey, welcome to Dungeons and Dragons! Yeah! I'm so excited! <laughs> you know, like, I know some of you have played with me in the past. Mm -hmm. I can be, I, I've had a really hard edge. You know, yeah. Like, yeah. You, like, I was telling Jackson, actually, yeah. how yeah. You, you were pretty aggressive. Yeah, yeah like, I, I'm always up to kill your character. Yeah. Very old school. Yeah, very old school Dungeons and Dragons player. And, you know, like, but I've been going and seeing a therapist and just, like, tons <laughs> of <laughs> Like, like, you know, I gotta treat life a little easier, you know? I'm really proud of you. Yeah, I'm really proud of you. Uh, but that's in reality. This is Dungeons and Dragons, and it's in my mind, and I can do whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm coming at you, and I'm coming at you harder than ever before. <laughs> Until each one of your characters is dead. <laughs> and so, let's meet your characters. <laughs> and not in the game yet. And that's with therapy. That's with therapy. <laughs> I would, I would love to introduce my new character. Yeah. I'm very excited about Matt, it. Matt, I would love to hear about your character. Uh, I actually didn't create this character. My friend Glenna, who also made these dice, uh, uh, she made this character for me, and it actually fits me. It's pretty opposite for me, I'm going to be honest. Okay. Uh, it's a super handsome, super snarky, kind of talks like this. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and he's a he's a rogue. He's a he's an arcane trickster, uh, and he is actually the leader, very young for his age, the leader of a thieves guild uh, that he was granted by a king in a, in a kingdom, and that king raised him as a child. So he's like a waffle thief. Yeah, yeah. He is he, he is like uh, ideals and whatnot. Like yeah, he'll steal something, but he'll really think about uh, what, what the cause and effect might be. Cool. Wow, that yeah. seems like really interesting. Yeah, yeah. What, what was his name? Oh, his name is Eli, Eli Estelio. Oh, yes. Eli Estelio. Eli Estelio. Cool. Very good. Well, Sammy, why don't you tell me about your character? Yeah, so I knew you were going to try to kill all of us, so right. I got Michael Vetch to help me make the most lovable character <laughs> ever, um, so that even you would feel bad when you killed them. Okay. Uh, this is Geary. Geary is a Warforged Eldritch Knight, so Warforged is more of a homebrew uh, type race, and they're basically like fantasy Terminator. Like, <laughs> uh, like a, a magical robot. Yeah, yeah a magical yeah. robot. Cool. Uh, Geary is your typical magical robot. <laughs> <laughs> Geary's a great name. Perfect. Right? And Jackson, yeah. this is your first time playing D&D &D with us, so yeah. please, uh, tell me about your character and what this is all about. So. Uh, yeah, I'm playing a goblin artificer named Uza Uzi. Yeah. <laughs> they are the loveliest goblin. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah, they spent seven years just alone in a cave taking apart clocks and putting them back together. Uh -huh. They're just so excited to make friends. Why why are they why is he, why are they so lonely? I mean I Oh they, they blew up their home village by uh, <laughs> thinking they could run the fireworks. Right, yeah. Oh, it's just a fireworks yeah. that's not gonna ride. Yeah. You killed everybody in your town. Yeah, and now no friends left. <laughs> yeah. So it's not like your friends left you or anything. No, no. <laughs> you blew up your you Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have the most adorable character. <laughs> yeah, they, these are two very adorable characters. They're really cool characters. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. And, and, then, and then it's just so sad. <laughs> and you've got to be trying to earn back friends. My oh, job is just to guilt you into not killing me. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, and you'd think that would work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the more lovable you are, the more pleasure I get from killing your character. So this is mom, yeah. mom, chef kiss, chef kiss. You gotta learn the ways of the kitchen, you know? Yeah, <laughs> that, how about, yeah that, this is gonna be great. Well, I have put together a very special adventure for you, and it's going, uh, I call it a delicate dare. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, this is gonna be very good, so let's 
get ready to play some Y-E-G D-N-T! Our story today begins, as uh, the last few shows have been, in the world of Mirage Yell. And we're going to go to the southeast corner of this place, called, uh, to a place called the Amaranthine Forest. And this forest, as you go deeper and deeper into it, turns more into a jungle with uh, forgotten creatures and, and uh, dangerous monsters. There are vines everywhere, and beautiful flowers are all over the place. And these flowers are used for dyes, they're used to um, create the most powerful magical potions. This is the kind of place where, if you are an alchemist, this is where you would come. One such alchemist uh, has a tower that uh, comes up out of the foliage and looks out across uh, the wooded uh, realm. This tower has a, you know, you can see a telescope coming out of it, looking up into the stars, uh, and it's nice and thin. Cl classic wizard tower! <laughs> You're thinking of a wizard tower? That! Perfect! <laughs> Going down, and inside, we don't find the wizard that belongs to this place, that alchemist diviner named Zertha. No, we do not find her. Instead, we find her assistant, one Uza Uzi, <laughs> who is up, once again, up in the top room where all, all the uh, potions are made. <laughs> this is a wonderful room with all sorts of beakers, and uh, there's a you know big iron pot right here. There's already these made up potions along the side. <laughs> High up above, out of Uza's reach, because Zertha does not trust Uza with it at all, is Zertha's crystal ball. She uses it to define where uh, she can maybe find the next ingredients for her next potion. But she, Uza, goes nowhere near it. He does, they do not want to upset her Zertha at all. So, we find Uza going about their regular day. Two drops of a love potion should make a friendship potion. <laughs> it doesn't, but... <laughs> and I'll have my spit so they know it's me they have to be friends with after drinking it. <laughs> they will know it's them. <laughs> Maybe I'll take a little sip for myself. <laughs> Tastes like vinegar. <laughs> and that's because it was. <laughs> At this point, coming through the window comes a, a small uh, creature that has been slowly getting the trust of Uza. It's this little pixie, very small, fairy creature. Hey, amigo! Hey, friend! <laughs>
in half. Ten or more. 
Oh. <laughs> it's a 19. <laughs> so Eli is completely able to stealth up on uh, Geary. Geary has no idea that Eli is there. But Eli can't turn off this iron golem because it's not an iron golem. Poison, poison, save, poison. <laughs> Poison, poison. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> You're not an iron gold. Correct. <laughs> what the hell are you? Geary. <laughs> you are injured. Uh, yes I am. Geary can fix. Look, uh, I can seal this on my own. I just need to find a paladin somewhere. <laughs> Antidote. Here, here, yeah. Before you go, uh, how the heck did you do that? Science, alchemy, magic, <laughs> poison, poison, <laughs> remedy, poison, poison, safe. <laughs> so you can tell the difference between poison flowers and fauna between now. Gary likes flowers. <laughs> Flowers are measurable. Can you do the same with beings, good and bad? Because I got a couple bad ones coming my way. Yes. Do you mind uh, sticking with me for a little bit? I um, I'm not sure why I'm asking, but you seem trustworthy. <laughs> Gary gets that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> now Gary actually notices a, uh, a plant that. It does not recognize. It's this kind of a mound of uh, vines that's on the ground uh, in a big pile, and it starts to twitch as Gary gets closer. Analyzing. <laughs> Analyzing. <laughs> Analyzing. Oh no. Uh, Gary, I don't think the analyzing is working. <laughs> Folds and this gaping mouth comes out of the plants. This is a shambling mound. It tries to uh, move closer into uh, and wrap Geary. And this is where we're going to have our first fight check. Who wants to roll on behalf of my monster? The shambling mound. Help me out. I need a good roller. Are you a good roller? Chest. And he's with the net. We 
wines. He rallies his troops. All right, man. Preachers. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
insight to Uza, and Uza can see two people wandering through the woods, and it looks like it's exactly this image. <laughs> For your walk. Gary always measures. Oh, these look like friends. <laughs> and Uza realizes where they are in the forest. It's where one of the most deadliest creatures in the forest is a young green dragon. I'm gonna have to go, I'm gonna have to go help them. Oh! <laughs> Remind ourselves what's happening. Elias <laughs> <laughs> Delio and uh, his new friend Geary uh, on the run away from Walker Elven Ranger, <laughs> which is now forever tainted by adventure. <laughs> but that's all right, I love it anyways, because he's the greatest Elven Ranger with a dinosaur and a dryad. That's a dream team right there. <laughs> you don't need to do that. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> Who's that Uzi? Is meanwhile has broken their master's crystal ball and has discovered that maybe these two new friends that can help them find uh, a solvent to get the, the crystal ball off of, him, uh, off of them might be able to help. But they are in danger in the cave of death. The cave of death is... Uh, Go uh, out of the way of the trees. Eli believes that he's going to be protected in here, hiding away from the elven pursuers. Okay. <clears throat> I think we'll be safe in here, and this might be a good place for me to hide. <laughs> You're probably wondering why I'm here, Gary, and why I'm running. Gary has been hunted before, it was not a question. You may speak anyway. <laughs> Do you know what this is? An amber heart. Yes. You're <laughs> <laughs> always measured. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got that now. Anyway, um, I was sent on a mission. And this mission had to do with taking things. There's an amber heart in almost every single village. Each one is treated differently by each village. And this particular one, they worship this thing. But these things are dangerous. Dangerous? If they fester for too long. It almost grows acidic, and then goes from acidic to an explosion. This could have leveled that entire village. Now we're probably going to put him in this cave so it can blow up. <laughs> Geary understands danger. Geary is dangerous. What? That's why Geary is alone. You know, I saw you tear apart a tree. That doesn't mean it, make, it makes you dangerous. I like you, Geary. I, you're a lot less like me. Processing. <laughs> Perception check. Geary notices something in the air. Let's uh, let's uh, roll. Mm -hmm. Who'd like to roll for Geary's perception? Somebody has to roll. Geary, go for it. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Yeah, Just give me a nice. Good roll. You give me a 12. That's alright. With a 12, Geary hears claws scraping on the uh, cave floor. Geary, what's going on? Are you, are you measuring again? Metal <laughs> sound waves. Echoes through the cave are coming. Claws. Okay, I hear it too. And they're ready as this young adult dragon. Now, Dragons are normally really big, and a young adult dragon is still about 10 feet tall in this space. Remember, dragons are also intelligent. Baby, <laughs> <laughs> seems like you're here in my cave of death. <laughs> Not too bright, are ya? 
if that is the actual title, we did not see a sign or know that it was called that. <laughs> Accurate. Accurate. True, you are glowing. But I just wonder who among you decided to trespass into my hoard? Hmm? I've got all manner of treasures here, and I'm sure you're a thieves. Geary is a Geary. <laughs> <laughs> you <Eli. laughs> Is a public servant. I'm <laughs> <laughs> here to check up on how your real estate is doing. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you need to roll a deception. <laughs> <laughs> that was <a> <laughs> the dragon is very smart, uh, and a dragon is also very insightful. So this is going to be one heck of a deception check. So I need somebody who can roll 14 or higher on this for this deception check. I'm gonna roll that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, now you're stepping out. Right. You're confident on this one. 14 or higher on this deception roll. like 
Okay, uh, I, I really depended a lot on this one. All show, I saw you just waiting, you're like, I'm like, that, that person right there has something special, you give me a four. Well, I mean, the good thing is, despite your greatest attempts to foil this whole thing, <laughs> In fact, not a quest, a dare. 
<laughs> we're gonna go to that wizard, the one who made you, and we're gonna tell him that you just can't abandon the thing that you created, and hopefully my father will hear the same thing. <laughs> going to go back to the tower uh, that Uza comes from, where we're going to see Zertha. Coming back to uh, their uh, lab, broken shards of the crystal ball, the sovereign blue missing. This is a dragonborn. Oh my god! <laughs> Why E.G. Yeah. Yeah.